I got an email from Johan requesting a review of the Forex Track Expert Advisor. I jumped straight onto their My FX Book links, and after about two minutes of analysis, I automatically dismissed it. But I remember way back when I first started, it took me about two hours or so to fully understand and analyze a My FX Book account. So I thought this was a fantastic idea for a video to show you step by step how exactly I analyze my FX book results. So due to popular demand of a one user, let's go. This is their website and I'll post to a link to them in the description below. There is a link to my FX book, which we will look at in a moment. And it looks like this is a uh, Forex expert advisor that only trades the US Canadian pair. And scrolling down, you can see it mentions a first block, second block and risk control. When they mention first block and second block, it sounds like a grid system to me. Risk control, that sounds like Martingale. Uh, scrolling down a little bit more, I don't care about back-tested results because they are, can be highly manipulated. Um, and it looks like the price for this one is $329. Switching over to my FX book, and I can see here that the, we only have two ticks. I personally don't care about these two ticks. What I'm really keen on is the live updates because I have seen where people don't do live updates and they can manipulate the drawdown. So that is the first red flag that I see. This account started off at $2,000 in January of 2020. So an impressive track record. And in the past three years, it's gone up by 1000%. Next, I look at the balance and the equity and how close they are. I can see that it's at $22,000 for balance and $22,000 for equity. So potentially there might not be any open trades right now. When looking at the equity and a balance line, you do want to see jagged movements up and down, whether that is a balance or whether that is equity, it doesn't matter. You do want to see jagged movements, not this smooth line right here. When you see these smooth lines, that means this equity chart has been manipulated. This red line is fairly accurate and it reflects the balance. But what isn't shown here is the equity, which is the floating drawdown. Because it's so smooth, I can already tell that this is a grid, potentially a Barton Gale expert advisor, because you can see these sharp spikes up. Um, over here, we are trading at 10 lots on August of 2021, whereas usually at other times, we're trading at under one lot. And I will show you the drawdown chart, but definitely do not take this into consideration when you're making your decisions because my FX book and FX blue do not calculate this well. According to this chart, the highest drawdown we've seen is a 9% over here and then 18% over here, but definitely don't believe those numbers. I will show you later on how you can make a much better estimate in terms of drawdown. Scrolling down, I personally don't care about any of those statistics. I go straight for the advanced statistics and we're looking to see a ratio of bit average win to average loss. So here we can see the average win is about $90, whereas the average loss is $57. I'm quite surprised by that. Um, I normally see for these systems, the average loss is generally bigger than the average win. Um, and from a uh, win rate perspective, we're looking about 50 to uh, 50, 60%. For different systems, sometimes you will see a big average win, whereas a small um, win rate, and other times you'll see a, a small average win and a big win rate. It doesn't really matter. What you one really want is the expectancy. So when you combine the win rate and average win, you want a positive expectancy. And this one is at 4.8 pips or $24. So that seems okay. And the uh, next one is the profit factor of 1.95. You generally want anything over one. Next, I want to see the open trades. I find a lot of shady people hide the open trades. Um, let's take a look at the history. At least that is um, available. And I see a lot of the times people also lie, hide their lots. At least with this particular vendor, they are showing the lots because this is very handy. When you don't see the lots, then you can take a look at the percentage instead and treat them as lots because that will also give you a fairly good indication of how the money management is for a particular expert advisor. First of all, I want to determine what the average lot size and has the vendor increased their lot size over time as the account has grown. So right now is the 15th, 16th of August 2023. So this was closed yesterday. 
and I can see if you do a quick eyeball down the charts, you can see most of the lot size is at 0.1. And if we sort by the close date um, from the start, um, so with this one, the vendor seems pretty consistent. They have not changed their lot size. You can see all, all of these are generally about 1.0. So um, even though their grant has account has grown significantly, the vendor hasn't really increased their lot size. And that explains the chart up above here, where you can see it is a fairly straight line. If the vendor had been increasing their lot size, then you would see a much bigger curve. And this chart here would be way up here instead of um, down here, this uh, straight line that you see. Back down to the open trades. Uh, next thing I want to see is the maximum and the minimum lot size. So I'll sort by lots. And you can see here the biggest lot size we've seen is 4.85 and that happened the 23rd of August 2021. I'm going to write that down because that is important. Next, I want to see the minimum lots. So the minimum lot is 0.05 back in 2022, which I'm quite surprised at because from what I've seen, the vendor does seem to be consistent at 0.1 lot size, but potentially um, in 2022, they decided to decrease their lot size. Next, I'm going to sort by the close date. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to see when uh, you see multiple trades closing at the same time, which means it is a grid martingale system. And I can see straight away that these five, six trades right here, um, they're all closing at 7.34 p.m. So I know that this group of trades here uh, generally will come out of profit. If you add up all the single profits, you've got $651 here, and you've got some losers here. So if you add up all the trades that close at the same time, generally they'll come out of profit or break even or have a small loss. Now that we know that it is a grid martingale system from this group of trades, I just want to confirm that with a few more trades. And I can see these three trades right here, they're all closed at about 5.24, let me scroll up. And you can see the net profit for these three is $95, $6 and negative $30. If you add these three up, that's a $60 worth of profit for these three trades combined. Next, I'm going to go to 23rd of August 2021 because that's when we saw the account was trading at about four lots. I want to take a look at the worst case scenario on this account. And I have found it. This group of trades here at on the 23rd of August at 3.43. And there's one more trade on the next page, which I won't flick through. And so we're here, we're looking for the smallest lot size. So the biggest one I can see here is four lots and 85. And the smallest one is actually on the next page and is 0.17, which is bigger than what we saw before at 0.1. So the vendor definitely has been toying and playing around with the lot sizing over the past few years. For this group of trades, we can see the overall profit here is $2,000, 100 and a few hundred. So that looks about uh, 2000. So all up these group of trades are profit about $200, even though the drawdown for this would be fairly big. And if you move your mouse over to the right hand side, you can see this trade here of the $2,000. It tells you exactly the worst monetary value is. So this trade here went down all the way down to negative $2,759. And remember that about six trades here were open at the same time. So if we scroll down a little bit more to the next trade, you can see this trade had a minimum profit of negative $245. So this one fell by $2,000 before finally coming up and closing out at 191. So you can see the massive discrepancy in terms of um, the biggest loser and how much it actually closed by at $191. And all this data and trades is useful, but it's even more useful when you download to Excel, which I will show you in a minute. First of all, I want to look at the monthly returns and the, remember that the vendor has made some changes to the lot sizing. So you can see um, the monthly returns do vary. Uh, the highest I can see is 25 back in 2020. And sometimes the returns have been a little bit more conservative, about five, six, 1%. 
2021, we're looking for a consistency in terms of monthly gains. We don't want to see huge monthly gains and low monthly gains. So now in 2021, we can see it's dropping up to a most highest of eight and the lowest of one. 2022, you can see the vendor is becoming more conservative with the lot sizing. And 2023, we're looking at 0.1 and 2% per month. So definitely much more conservative. The most interesting part of these trades is that now when you are logged in, you can download each and every single trade to CSV. So go here and click on CSV which will send you an email of exactly every single trade that has transpired in this account. Once you've got the file from my FX book, open it. And this is what the Excel looks like. There is a lot of information here. What we're interested in is, is the close date. You can also really analyze each and every single trade. But for now, what I'm keen to understand is what the biggest drawdown is like. And if you scroll to the right, you see in column U, you've got minimum USD. So for every single trade, uh, my FX book has tried to calculate the worst case scenario for every single trade. Let's create a pivot table. So I'm going to go to insert pivot table press OK and I'm going to drag close date onto the row and scroll all the way down and grab a minimum USD onto the values and I want to make sure that is a sum. So now we can see we've got a table of for each time a record is closed what the worst case scenario is. I'm going to scroll down and see where I can find the biggest number. Here we go. On the 23rd of August 2021, the drawdown was $10,000. Aside from that, most of the time I've seen a reasonably big drawdowns of $1,000. There is one entry that has a $3,000. So let's have a look at the account size on the August 2021. Back to my FX book and on the 23rd of August, 2021, the account was at about $12,000 and there was a $10,000 drawdown. $10,000 divided by 12,000, that is an 83% drawdown. Now you can see why I don't trust this number right here on the left, it says 18%. And if you look at the drawdown chart right here, nowhere does it say there was an 83% drawdown. The next bit you might not be able to do if you're not a programmer, but because I am a programmer, I'm going to flex my programming muscles, grab all these trades and place them on a chart. Bada bing, bada boom. Here is my chart showing the US CAD. I'm showing on the four hour time frame so we can see big picture how this trades. And from my first glance, I can see this looks like it's trading all the time as in it's always in the market. Um, scrolling to the left. There is a period here where there are no, no trades, whether the EA did that or whether the um, vendor uh, stopped the expert advisor to um, trade uh, and started it again, we don't know. But it looks like, I'm guessing, but the default behavior of this expert advisor is it's in the market all the time. Here's another period where it was in the market. And let's zoom in to understand the money management a little bit better. And uh, the first trade I can see right here, this definitely is a grid system. See here, this these blue trades, they're buy trades, and we can see the price is going down. So the first one was at 0.1 lots. Second one is at 0.25. So we, there is a martingale aspect. Third one is 0.37. Fourth is 0.6. And the biggest one in this set is 1.29. So that is a fairly aggressive um, lot size increase. With this sort of money management, the exit is generally within uh, between 30 to 40%, but this one seems very aggressive. So the exit here looks like about a 20% um, move from top to bottom to come out at profit. And if I zoom in a bit more, I can see that there does seem to be some sort of hedging. We can see buys and sell trades open at the same time. So this trade right here, which is a buy trade, um, and at the same time a sell trade was open. So um, the expert advisor does allow both buy and sell trades open at the same time. And it looks like it, Martingale isn't employed all the time. For example, check out this buy trade right here. This is a losing trade. It bought and instead of kicking off Martingale, the grid system that we've seen here, this one closed out at negative $29.
And we can see that um, over here as well, this is a buy trade and it was a losing trade with $26 in losses. So sometimes this expert advisor does close trades with a profit. This one here, this a sell trade closed with a profit, whereas this sell trade closed with a loss and only does seem to kick off the grid martingale aspect like over here where it's a three trade in this group of trades it only seems to do that sometimes it's not obvious looking at the chart what the logic is in terms of when it chooses to use a grid and when it chooses to um, exit with a loss let's go to august of 2021 where we saw the biggest ten thousand um, dollar drawdown and it is this set of trades right here. Let me zoom in so you can see it a little bit better. It closed on the 23rd of August 2021, which is um, exactly what I was looking for. And let's see, the first trade started off at 0.17 lots. And uh, this is a sell trade. And as price continues to go up, we can see it places more and more trades. The biggest one was... 4.85 lots and this move here resulted in a $10,000 floating profit and loss. I'm going to zoom out and just scroll to the left a little bit more to see if there's anything else that we can learn but I guess that's all we can gauge in terms of how understanding how it works without really having access to the expert advisor or the detailed money management but you can see how valuable it is to have, be able to plot the trades on a chart it really does give you a better idea of how it often it trades and definitely the money management aspect. I hope you found this video useful. It is definitely different to what I normally do. I normally review expert advisors that I actually own and this one I do not own. I will leave it up to you if you want to buy this expert advisor for yourself. If you like my analytical nature to robot trading, check out this video right here where I do more deep dives into robots that I actually own.